What's good, y'all? It's your boy Mixtape Moth. So last weekend, I went on a vacation to Houston. It was about my fifth time there. And on these trips, I try to make it a point to visit some hip-hop uh, landmarks associated with Houston. But today, I got briefly inspired to talk about the hip-hop scene in Houston in general. I wanted to quickly pay homage to Houston rap and to give y'all what I consider to be uh, the top 10 um, best Houston songs. Now, obviously, Houston has always had a rich and diverse hip hop scene, you know, given that it is the fourth largest US city and the most culturally diverse. That only makes sense. So, whether we are talking about the rapping, uh, the slang, slab culture, the chill lifestyle, the jewelry, lean, and just overall swag, Houston has always had its own unique sound and style. I mean, it's a city of hustlers. And trendsetters. And this dates back to the mid to late 1980s with Houston collectives like uh, the South Park Coalition with K Reno and Gangsta Nip and the independent powerhouse label of Rap A Lot Records. Now it's only right that I attempt to do the Jay Prince voice. Oh yeah. But I really feel that Rap A Lot Records deserves the most credit for putting the Dirty South on the map. You know, before Jay Prince, before Scarface, before the Ghetto Boys came on the scene, uh, the only options were for folks to listen to rap on the East Coast and the West Coast. Of course, there were some Southern party rap that existed and Luke and Two Live Crew uh, had their own wave down in Florida. But if you wanted to hear that raw or uh, reality Southern street rap, you heard it from Rap-A-Lot down in Houston. And to be completely honest, Rap-A-Lot was the label that introduced me to Houston rap. Uh, there were a ton of great solo and group releases from the Ghetto Boys, uh, Big Mike, Fifth War Boys, Devin the Do, Mr. 3-2, UGK, Face Mob Zero. I mean, the list goes on. I also want to recognize the production team associated for bringing us that rap a lot sound. Guys like Mike Dean, N.O. Joe, Joe Beto, Scarface, and Mr. Lee. At the same time, in the early 90s, you also had the Screwed Up Click, led by the legendary late great DJ Screw, uh, based out of the south side of the city. But to keep it a buck, back then in the 90s, I wasn't as familiar uh, with the Screw scene as an out-of-towner as I am now, because I'm mostly new of uh, the rap a lot or the suave house artist, but over the years I grew to really develop an appreciation for that screw sound and the unique style that uh, SUC brought to the table. It's really powerful to think how his slow down, chopped and screw sound, you know, became so revolutionary and was really a game changer that will go on to influence hip hop culture for years to come. So obviously there were a lot of great records put out um, by SUC members during the 90s and 2000s. And to this day, artists like Lil Kiki, Zero, Trade of Truth, and Big Pokey are still dropping albums. But rest in peace to Big Mo, Big Hawk, uh, Fat Pat, DJ Screw, and George Floyd. Now, in the late 90s and early 2000s, you also had the Swisher House Records, which formed as a response uh, to the success of Screwed Up Click. Uh, on the north side of the city, you had Swisher House artists doing their thing. Guys like Slim Thug, Chameleonaire, Paul Wall, Mike Jones, J Dog, etc. And you can't forget, you know, the impact that Swisher House had on Houston hip hop either. And you can't mention Houston hip hop without talking about one of the best hip hop duos of all time, UGK. Now, even though they are from Port Arthur, Texas, which is a little over an hour outside of Houston, they are still very much considered a part of uh, Houston rap and Houston culture. And it doesn't get any more realer or triller than the pimp and the bun. I also want to mention Suave House Records, founded by Tony Draper. Now, obviously, Suave House is mostly associated with the Memphis scene, um, but it was based out of Houston, and some of the artists uh, signed to Suave House were from Houston. Guys like Crime Boss and uh, South Circle, consisting of Mr. Mike and DJ Thorough. And Mr. Mike was one of my favorite MCs on Suave. He was so underrated. So clearly, there were a lot of different unique styles, sounds, and clicks coming out of the city during the 90s and the 2000s, all of which were done 
at the independent label, uh, Screwed Up Click, Rapala, and Swisher House all made uh, major moves on the independent front, which was really inspiring considering, you know, uh, the mainstream success that they mostly achieved. All right, so now I want to get into the top 10 best songs uh, in Houston of all time. I know it's a daunting task to try to compile 10 um, that I feel, you know, would be the best reflection of the city. This list would be for someone outside the city that needed to get acquainted uh, with those 10 essential songs. So obviously I had to factor in the different eras and the different crews. I am curious to know uh, in the comment section what your top 10 would be, uh, but please just don't say, where's This Is The Way We Ball. Make sure uh, that you let me know what you would take off the list. So you gotta do that. So here it goes, starting with number one, Ghetto Boys, Mind Playing Tricks. It's a masterpiece. Um, it's one of the most iconic hip hop songs in general. It's easily a top five to 10 hip hop song of all time. And without a doubt, a mandatory Houston song. You know, Mind Playing Tricks is like the genesis for introspective street rap. It was based on the experiences of Jay Prince, some of Scarface's as well, but yes, a mega classic Smithsonian song. Song two, Scarface, Mr. Scarface. So I was torn on which Scarface song to include since his catalog is so crazy. Uh, I almost went with Money and the Power uh, considering that that's the ultimate come up anthem, but I chose Mr. Scarface because it's a hard as nails classic and it's such a defining song in his discography. The storytelling was next level for the time only to be rivaled by Cool G Rap, in my opinion. For number three, I decided to go into the UGK bag uh, with Murder from their 1996 classic album, Riding Dirty. Uh, and this was such an aggressive in your face banger that showcased just how nice they were on the lyrical tip you know so many quotables from pimp and bun uh truth be told prior to riding dirty i always thought that pimp was the better rapper and so i heard bun go off on murder it was like bun b's flow was birthed and perfected on this song you know bun really caught lightning in a bottle with this one the man left earth. For number four, I went with UGK's Woodwill. Uh, so I contemplated on One Day and uh, Diamonds and Wood, you know, two other incredible tracks from Riding Dirty, but I just didn't want to include songs from Riding Dirty on a top 10 list. It is tempting though. Uh, so I, I did go with Woodwill as I feel it's one smooth but raw anthem that just personifies the Houston sound and way of life. It's that perfect mid to late 90s, mid-tempo, smooth, uh, wavy, but raw sound. And it has some of their best back and forth rapping together moments. It's smooth riding music with hard hitting lyrics and flows. For number five, I have June 27th Freestyle by the Screwed Up Click. Now this is one of the most famous freestyles of all time and almost 38 minute long posse cut uh, with SUC members over to Biggie and Criss Cross B. It's as historic as they come, resulting in June 27th being honored as a holiday in Houston uh, for birthing the screw sound. You know, this song is definitely long as hell and it is the longest song I think I've ever put on a playlist, but it's a must on any Houston list. For number six, I have Fat Pat's Tops Drop. So I went back and forth between this and Ghetto Dreams, uh, but I went with Top's Drop because it's such a feel good record. You know, it's a certified slab anthem uh, with that classic Don't Stop the Music sample, RIP to Fat Pat. He has so much potential. For song seven, I have 25 Lighters by DJ DMD, Fat Pat, and Lil Kiki. So this is without a doubt, an essential Texas song uh, that I feel was really famous within the city, but perhaps not as well known uh, if you're not from there. Uh, but if you know, you know. But yes, yeah, a Dirty South classic and a Hustler anthem with that playalistic bounce and vibe. For number eight, I have DJ Screw and Lil Kiki's Pimp the Pen. Uh, so this song really showcased uh, Lil Kiki's ill flow and pen game. And it's also one of the most sampled uh, songs in uh, Houston hip hop. And I can think of just several songs off the top of my head that sample uh, Kiki's vocals. You can't go wrong 
with this one as I feel it is a quintessential uh, Houston song. But I was torn between this and uh, ESG Swang in the Band. I'm not going to hold you. For number nine, I have Still Tippin' by Mike Jones, Paul Wall, and Slim Thug. Yes, I know this song was commercial as ever and even embraced by the casuals, kind of like Lil Troy's Wanna Be a Baller, which I almost put on here. Uh, but Still Tippin' is required for any Houston list. And I had to include uh, some Swisher House for all their big contributions. The beat is infectious and it has some of Paul Wall's most quote worthy lines to date. And lastly, at number 10, I have Zero's Mo City Dawn. I mean, what would a Houston rap list B without Mo City Dawn, uh, a not so good one. Yeah, I always knew this song was big, but I had no idea how highly revered it was until I heard it being played uh, at a bar and club in Houston and everyone was rapping word for word, kind of like uh, how people do for Meek Mill's uh, Dreams and Nightmares intro. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what your top 10 would be and how much you were influenced uh, by Houston rap I'm personally not an expert as I'm not from there. Uh, but over the years, I've learned a thing or two. So yeah, this is my list. These are my thoughts. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. It's peace and blessings. I'm out. One.